As a small boy, in the summer months, my grandfather used to take me every Saturday to the local bowling green. He was an avid bowls player. So with my hand in one hand and his pair of bowls in their leather case in the other, off we would set. Whilst he prepared himself with the rest of the players for the game, I would sit on the nearest bench, legs swinging as they did not touch the ground, usually drinking a glass of homemade lemonade. The bowls intrigued me. They were far too large and heavy for my little hands. Yet the players handled them lovingly with one hand, carefully polishing them as they talked and laughed. Made of hard, deep brown wood, they were not truly spherical, but had slightly flatter sides like a really fat wheel. The players called their balls woods. Beginning to play, a small white ball, the jack was bowled out well into the green. Then players took it in turns to aim one of their woods towards it. The rhythm of the match was almost like a ballet in slow motion. First playing in one direction across the green, then turning around to play back the other way. Each player bending down on one knee to carefully take aim at the jack, releasing the bowl with a finely controlled, almost gentle swing. The wood, because of its weight, hugging tight to the grass, the momentum of its travel only gradually slowing down. And then as it did, it would begin to curve off either to the left or to the right, depending upon which its more weighted side was on. Finally, it would come to a complete standstill, close to the jack, and then in slow motion, very, very gently roll over onto its side. A sheet of paper its apparent fragility belies its true strength, its capacity to carry, to carry a line or infinite lines, and the blurring of those lines into an atmosphere, an atmosphere which can of itself evoke a solid form, a form which can begin to take on an intimation of thought, with that thought beginning to then become a possible meaning a meaning which can become the impetus for yet another line. And so it goes on, from line to meaning, from meaning to line, from the head to the hand, from the hand to the head. Line follows line. <laughs>